this is my super capacitor charger circuit basically I've got two super capacitors here they are 25 farad um, 2.7 volts in series giving me a 5.4 volt total um, we have a power supply which is out of sight it's tw set to 12 volts um, we've got this power limiting resistor on the input circuit which is a 10 watt 22 ohm resistor and I've got a little MPN and a power PMP transistor there and a heat sink obviously uh, here we've got my little LCD screen to show the voltage at the minute we've got 1.99 volts on our supercapacitors I've got two buttons here this one is a mode select to make the charge happen this one to stop everything and put us back to the state we're in at the minute which is mode zero uh, we have a lamp here that I've got uh, as a load for the discharge we want to discharge the capacitors um, three LEDs on that bank um, green an orange and a red just for show basically to show us what's going on green for charge, um, the amber is for when the charge has been reached, the point has been reached um, and red is for discharge so I'll just quickly demonstrate for you press the button, we go on a charge so we're charging you can see the voltage going up here, you should be able to see that I'll zoom in slightly for you, you can see that and you can see the Two LEDs flickering as it settles down. Basically, if the charge drops back a bit, the power will go back on again. Obviously, if it was a battery charge, it wouldn't fluctuate quite so much. But the capacitors are a little bit more sensitive. Um, we go on to three volts, and then if we decided we wanted to turn it off, we just press that button and go to mode zero. Go back to charge 2.5 as we're at 2.7 no charge is taking place. So on 3 volt mode we're at 2.9 volts and we're there again with the fluctuation which again will settle down after a little bit of time. And we go on to 4 volts and the other mode is 5 volts that's as far as I've gone because I want to protect my capacitors. Um, there you go, and if I want to discharge, we press again. We've got the red LED lit and the lamps lit at the back there. And you can see the voltage dropping on the uh, charge. I don't think that's really affecting the camera. You can see if I zoom in a bit more, you can see the charge dropping off the capacitors and if we we can just press that button again it will take us back it's just like a, a circle basically back round to naught again and we can go back to charging again then we want the charge has started again so there you go hopefully you like it if you've got any comments I'd like to hear them and um, thanks very much for watching